All right, now we're gonna move on to page number one. We're gonna start with first fin. And the idea for this fin is that we're gonna have a gatefold enclosure that's held together by a couple of belly bands and a tag. And on the inside of that, we're gonna have a waterfall. First, I need to cut a couple of pages. This is 110 pound cardstock. And I'm gonna cut two pieces at four and a half by six and a half. I'm going to make this six and a half inch slice first. And then the two four inch slice. the two gatefold pieces. And we're gonna go ahead and score first the, the flap that's gonna adhere it to the, the main page. That's, we're gonna score that at half an inch. And then I wanna add a gusset for the waterfall. So we're also going to score at three quarters of an inch. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. Score it half an inch. And at three quarters of an inch. I add those to the page I want to add the belly band belly bands and I need two of these at one inch wide and seven inches long seven and a half inches. seven and a half inches instead of seven inches because I'm going to score it at half an inch and seven and a half inches, half an inch and seven inches. mat at and this need does need to be the 110 pound card stack we need this as six by six and we need the waterfall and the waterfall will be 65 pound card stock that's gonna be, we need seven pieces 
at, I'm actually gonna get the big trimmer out for this because we can cut multiple pieces at once. We need seven pieces at three and a half by six. We actually ended up with nine pieces. We only need seven, so we've got some extra. And we need to score seven of these at the half inch mark along the three and a half inch. Grab our page, six and a half inches by six and a half inches. This is gonna be interesting. I think I need to trim half an inch off on either side of these actually. Otherwise, we're gonna run into an issue with the gatefold. So I'm gonna trim these down half an inch. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've trimmed these down to five and a half by three. Let's get the page put together. We're gonna start by assembling the gatefold closure first. And the way this is gonna work, we're gonna have belly band, a belly band here and a belly band here and then the tag will slide through there and help keep those pages closed. we get too much farther, I'm gonna go ahead and add the mats. So let's decide what kind of mats that we want to use for this. And since I only bought one sheet of the A4, we're actually gonna supplement with some solid color hard stock and other decorative elements. Remember where all my cutters end up. So we're gonna cut two mats at three inches by six and a quarter. decorate these a little bit with some stamping. to put a whole lot of weight on that. So I'm gonna use 
but I am gonna have to slide this around a little bit. So I am gonna use liquid glue. As the first set of mats, now we have to mat the belly bands in. We're gonna use Let's go ahead and use up some of our scraps on this. So these are our an inch wide. So we need three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch wide and six and a quarter inch tall. And on this trimmer, this metal bit right here, it's pretty much the three quarter of an inch mark. Hold on to these scraps just in case I need them. I'm not sure what I might need them for, but you never know. Now these, I know for sure there will be no weight on them, so I am gonna use my ATG to secure these down because I don't need to slide. And they're not gonna be holding a whole lot of weight. I also need to cut some, some pockets. And those are gonna be three and a quarter inches wide by three inches tall. And I can use the 65 pound paper for that. And I only need two of them. So I think this will be large enough. get out my smaller guillotine trimmer. And those are gonna go on the inside here. You know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim off about an eighth of an inch lengthwise on either side, just so that I'm not interfering with the closure. I'm going to use eighth of an inch. Tape on this just so that I've got better control over the positioning. Go ahead and I want to mat the interior pieces here. 
So let's see what what do we have in our scraps that we can use. So I know there will be embellishment pieces in here, some tags. So we'll probably go with. Something like this along the top, and then maybe these pieces for the pockets. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So this section here is three and a half inches long. We're gonna cut this piece down to three and three eighths tall by that's gonna be three and a quarter inch wide by three inches wide and we're gonna cut two of those and then we'll probably do a little bit more stamping with the same stamp set to look something along those lines there all right I got the waterfall pieces cut once again to six inches my three and a half scored it three inches and then uh, folded over and we're gonna go ahead and lay the waterfall out. And I'm gonna eyeball the center here between the gate bolt pieces. up with the top of the page. waterfall I'm going to use a single sheet and we're going to cut this down to five and three quarters inches wide and then we're going to cut a couple of different pieces and a couple of different lengths Okay, so correction, you want one piece at two and seven eighths by five and three quarters, and then you want seven pieces at half an inch by five and three quarters. And I've got these kind of in order where they need to go. All right. And since there's really not gonna be any kind of weight on these, 
I'm just gonna use ATG on all of these. And I wanna be sure that I get them all facing the right direction. And this one is gonna be lined up along the bottom. Centered there. liquid glue for this just because I have a feeling I might have to scooch this around a bit I haven't done one like this before so this is kind of new to me bottom there. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a mat the full length of the bottom and then maybe put then maybe put that down there. Turn that down to, first of all, I need to know how tall that is. Three and a quarter inches. I'm going to go three and one eighths inches. And I know that's six and a half inches wide, so I'm going to go six and a quarter inches wide. And now if I want to add that last piece, I can. And the last piece for this part of page one is going to be the tag that's going to hold the closure together. And I'm going to use a bit of scrap here. It's already the right height. I just need to trim down about three quarters of an inch here. So this piece is six by six and I'm going to trim it to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. There we go, there's page one. Now we're gonna work on 
the back side. And this is going to be really simple because the way this is going to work, this part is going to be on the interior and there's going to be another page adhered directly there. So we're going to make this pretty flat. In here, we are going to have some pockets and a folio. So let's go ahead and trim the folio. The folio is going to be really easy. It's just going to be a six, an eight and a half by 11 page trimmed down to six by 11. And I don't know what happened with the packaging on my 110 pound, but all of my 110 pound pages have a wonky little corner on there. So I'm going to trim it to where that little corner is not going to be an issue. Since this is going to be a folio, I'm going to trim this at five and a half inches. We're going to put two pockets on this page. The first pocket, and I think before we do that, we'll go ahead and mat the top part of the page. So I'm going to trim this down. I think I'm going to trim about, actually, you know what? I think that's about where I want it. No, it's not. I'm going to trim about an inch off the bottom. It needs to be no more than six and a quarter inches wide. And same with this one. something a little different. And I'm gonna fussy cut that kind of curvy edged pocket here. this around a little bit to get it right so I'm going to use liquid glue
set this over here to dry while we mat this page here. Let me see if we have any. You know what? I think that might be. It might be cute for a mat. here. It'll tuck nicely right in here. And we've got a little tuck spot for a tag. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to use liquid glue and this is going to be fin number one I want to make sure I've got the right okay that's the front of the book cover the crease on the base page. If it does, that'll interfere with your ability to open that up. So we're gonna set this aside and let this dry. That is page number one. Now we're gonna do page number two for this fin. First part of page two of fin one is also gonna have a folio in it. So I'm going to make a mirror of the folio that we just made. table here. I'm going to even that up. It came out a little bit uneven so I'm going to even that up and I'm going to use a big guillotine trimmer to do that. have enough of this left in my scraps so I'm gonna have to grab another page of that was on this side. We're going to put it on this side. Okay, now we're done with the folio. 
This page is also gonna have multiple pockets on it, but they're gonna be squared pockets. And before we go too much farther, I'm gonna create the background map for this page. And I know I want to use some stamps. feather to be the darker ink. This is brushed corduroy. I've got a bunch of distress inks that I pulled out thinking that they would be great for... Yeah, I kind of like that. All right. So I know I'm gonna need a mat for this that's six and a half inches wide by three inches tall. Maybe even taller than that. Actually ended up cutting it to six and a quarter by three and a half. And that's gonna be my top mat up here. We're going to cut the pockets to six and three eighths. So just an eighth of an eighth of an inch shy of the width of the page by So we're gonna go three and a half. And this is gonna be this pocket right here. And then we're going to cut another pocket three and a half inches. by four inches. And that pocket is gonna sit on top of this pocket. So we'll have one pocket this way and one pocket this way. Actually, I think I may move this because the binding's gonna be over here and it'll be easier to get a tag or something in and out if you're going this direction. bottom of the pocket against the bottom of the page. Actually, before, before I add that, I'm gonna do, we're gonna mat that. That is three and a half. I'm gonna cut this to three and a quarter. I'm gonna line that up with 
the left edge of the first pocket. Kind of want to get something that's a little bit darker. You know what, if I did, multiples so that's three and a half so we're going to cut this to three and a quarter yep that'll work so now we're going to work on the back side of fin two page two this is going to be we're going to have three flaps in an accordion belly bands and a tag so it's gonna be a little little bit bulky not as bulky as the front of page one so our accordion is gonna be a six by six accordion that means that we're gonna have to trim the pages to six by six and a half and then score the six and a half inch side at half an inch the flaps are gonna be six inches wide by three and three quarters inches tall and we're going to score along the three and three quarters side at half an inch and then we're going to put um, one inch wide belly bands across each of we're going to have a flap here actually looks bad to flip this over so we're going to have a flap that comes out here a flap that comes out here actually we're going to have an accordion that comes out here a flap that comes here and a flap that comes down here and then the accordion is going to lay flat against the inside. Then the two flaps are going to come down. There will be belly bands across the two flaps and a tag that will go in between to hold them together. So let's start with trimming the accordion and then we will trim, trim out the flaps and belly bands and stuff. We'll be able to use this He's here for quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and trim this down to six inches this way. Then six and a half inches. This is gonna be one of the accordion flaps. Just one of the accordion flaps. And also wanna, let's see, this is six inches by three and three quarters inches. And we're gonna repeat that. We're going to score all of these. The according pieces, we're going to score see, six inches this way, six and a half inches this way. We're going to score this at half an inch. And we're going to score this is the three and three quarter inch side. We're gonna score this at half an inch. Again, at half an inch. We're gonna set these aside for now. Now we're gonna trim the belly band for these. These are the doors. This one's gonna, one's gonna flip up, one's gonna flip down. So these are six inches wide. So we're gonna to need to trim the belly bands to seven inches. And I want them an inch wide. Score that at half an inch.
And again, the adhesive I use really depends on how much weight is gonna be going on the project or on that part of the project and whether or not I need literal wiggle room. There's the accordion. Not like that. And these doors will like right here like that. Let's go ahead and crease that. You could also add a, about a quarter of an inch and make that a four inch by. I think that was four inch by six inches, and then add a quarter of an inch gusset on there if you wanted to. You wanna make sure that you're not covering that score line right there. Right up against it. Oh, I'm in the clear there. And I wanna make sure and I'm aligned with the top. And now we're gonna add the belly bands to the doors. careful when you're burnishing. Make sure you don't knock it out of alignment by mistake. Let's go ahead and trim the tag. The tag is gonna be five and a half by five and a half. And we're gonna do that with uh, 110 pound cardstock. So that's how this page is going to get held together. Pull the card out. That opens up that way. And the accordion opens up that way. Now we need to mat everything. I don't lose it because we're going to get a little bit creative with the matting because I only bought one pack of A4 so I want to be sure we don't go through it all too quickly. So let's start with the flat doors. Those mats are going to be five and three quarters inches wide by three inches tall. So let's go ahead and cut this to five and three quarters. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and cut the, no, we're gonna cut the five and three quarters. We're gonna cut that to three inches. And three inches. And I'm not real sure how well this cardstock is going to perform, but I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to see how well it does. So that's going to be just a little too short. So we're going to attempt 
little something different. Okay, apparently it didn't record that whole last section and I have no idea why. So, I'm not sure where it left off. So we added the accordion piece. These are six and a half inches trim, uh, six and a half by six, scored at six inches. And then adhered together and then matted with five and three quarters by five and three quarters pattern paper. Then we have the closures. These are three and three quarters inches tall by, how wide are they? By six inches wide. The belly bands are seven inches wide by an inch tall, scored at half an inch and six and a half inches and then matted with a three quarter inch by five and three quarter inch piece of pattern paper. And this tag just slides right in here to close. And then we adhered it to the binding with liquid glue. Make sure that you don't go over the score mark on the binding over by the spine otherwise you're gonna have a hard time so I got really close here so it's not wanting to flip over this way but here's what we've got so far it's page one page two Got a little tuck spot there. Page three, the folio. These are both folios. And there's a pocket there and a little pocket there. And page four. 